Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the Smash Ultimate Modding Workshop. Today, I've got the episode everyone's been waiting for. How do I take the move of one character and put it on another? I'll be explaining this by putting Captain Falcon's knee onto Terry. I'm also going to assume that you've already watched, at the very least, episodes 1, 4, and 5. I'd recommend that you watch 2 and 3 also to get a better understanding of the topics, but they're technically not required. Firstly, create a new mod and go into a mod RS file. I've got this blank one prepared. Open Wubai's script dump and navigate to the move that you want. I want Captain Falcon's knee, so I'm going to go to Captain, Captain, and then I'm also going to open effect, but I'm going to go into game, I'm going to scroll down until I find attack RF, and then also in effect, click on attack RF. Now I'm going to copy the file and put it into there. I'm going to do the same with effect also. Now I'm going to rename Captain to Dolly, which is Terry's code name. And then I'm also going to rename these scripts Dolly Attack RF and Dolly Attack RF underscore effects. I'm going to put them in here so the game actually loads them. The last thing you need to do for the scripts is change any character-specific effects or flags. As you can see, Captain Falcon has Captain at Thrust, which is just a Captain Falcon-specific effect. Since Terry is not Captain Falcon, he can't actually play this effect, so it'd be best to just remove it. And then Captain Falcon also has this flag, and then this integer. Terry doesn't have any, like, equivalents that I can set this to, so it's fine if I just remove these two Captain Falcon lines. I'm also going to go to the end of the hitboxes and make sure that there's no Captain Falcon specific sound effects or collision attributes. This is just a normal kick sound effect. This is just basic electric. This is the basic normal. This is just kick. They're all just kick. So there's nothing here that I'd have to rename so I can go back to the beginning. And now I'm good to save and build this. And we didn't get any errors. I'll cover errors and troubleshooting more in the next episode. I'm going to take the NRO file, copy it into the main mod, and rename it to Plugin. Let's worry about this fighter folder in a little bit. Now we're going to be porting the animation. Open Arc Explorer. If you don't have Arc Explorer and data.arc file, you should follow the tutorial from the Smash Modding Discord that'll be listed under item 2 in the description. Now go to Fighter the fighter whose move I'm taking from, that being Captain Falcon, motion, body, and this doesn't matter, I'm just going to click COO, well. and now I need to find the move in the list. Uh, attacks should usually start at C00, so there they are. I'm going to now right click on the move that I want and press extract. Because I'm doing an aerial, I also need to take the landing animation, so I'm going to extract that too. If you're doing a smash attack, like down smash, you also need to include the charging animation. We're done with Arc Explorer for now, but do not close it. Just minimize. Now, Arc Explorer should have an export folder, which will be in the folder you keep it in. I'm going to follow that same path. Fighter, Captain, Motion, Body, COO. And here are the two animations I just exported. I'm going to copy them. And then you'll need to create these folders, but I'm going to go to Fighter, the character I want this over, Motion, Body, C00, and then paste them both in. Now, copy the folder and paste it seven times, and then rename each one to C01 through C07. The mod now technically works. We've done it. We'll test it in Smash in a little bit, but there's one more thing we should do to make the move look as seamless as possible. Terry's forward air is still going to have the same amount of ending lag as it does in vanilla, so we're going to need to fix that. There's actually one extra step for aerials, so I'll cover that really quickly here. Go to Smash Ultimate Tools, which is going to be linked in item 3 of the description, and click on the Fighter Prime Editor. Go to the original character, and hit Landing Frames. And we're going to take note of the number listed under forward air, which is 18. Now we're going to go to Terry, and under landing frames for attack air forward, we're going to type 18. Now we save it, and it'll download. 
And then we need to put this file in fighter common param, and there it is, fighter param.prc. And for the last step, we need to go back to Arc Explorer. You should still have the folder with all of the animations open. Now I'm going to select Captain in this top bar and replace it with Dolly. Now I need to scroll to the bottom and get this file called motionless.bin. I'm going to extract that. This file contains all of a character's ending frames, among other things. The only issue is that it's encoded. To decode this, there's a bot in the Smash Ultimate modding Discord that can help. On the bar on the right, scroll down a little bit, and Discord Forge. I'm going to open DMs with the bot. To decode the file, I need to type percentage convert, and then attach the file. So I'm going to go to export, fighter, dolly, motion, body, c00, and motion list up in. And hit enter, and then the bot has spit the file out already. I'm going to download that, and then open it in my IDE. And here it is, motionless.yaml. Now I have this list of animations and all the data related to them. I'm going to search for the move that I want, which is attack air F, and here we are. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and it says cancel frame right here. This is the first frame in which you can cancel the move. Now, I don't actually know when you can cancel Captain Falcon forward air, so what I'm going to do is go to ultimate frame data, find Captain Falcon, look for forward air, and it is 45 total frames. Now, what you actually need to do is subtract 1 from this number, so I should have 44. So cancel frame, 44. Great. Now I can go back to the Discord and put in percentage convert and give it back the file that it gave me, but now it's edited. And we have an error. When the bot decodes it, it puts these hashes in between quotes. And then when it re-encodes, it doesn't really like that. So what we need to do is, if your IDE has a replace tool, we need to replace every single instance of a quote with nothing. We'll hit replace all, and we see that all 1788 occurrences were replaced. Now we save the file, go back to Discord, and try that again. And percentage convert. And now we have our motion list up in. I'm going to download that, going to copy it, and then go to fighter, dolly, motion, body, coo, and paste it into this folder. Now, you also need to paste it into co1, co2, co3, co4, co5, co6, and co7. Now, this folder, episode 6, is the main folder for the mod. I'm going to take this, put it in my mods folder, and then test it. And as you can see, Terry sure is doing Falcon's knee. And there's sour and the sweet spot. Works perfectly fine. If you have any questions, please ask them in the Smash Modding Discord. I hope this helped, and happy modding!